Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about one really um, amazing feature that FL Studio has uh, version 20.1.2 but first um, about installing the uh, software I want to show you guys my default settings usually so um, what I do is I make sure I check whatever I'm presented with but uh, I double uh, check if my issue drivers are all enabled it's really important to have issue for all and FL Studio issue uh, enabled because um, that's greatly going to um, improve the clarity of your audio. So uh, I check if I have enough space and then I proceed I click on next. Then I check the destination folder and um, in this case I'm comfortable with it in my program files. Now you can see that I already have some FL Studio versions installed. I even have FL Studio 20 already but it's fine. Um, the installer is going to overwrite whatever it needs to overwrite and leave uh, what, can, uh, what can remain. So uh, just don't worry if you already have um, versions installed, just proceed with the installation. Um, now I'm proceeding to uh, select the VSC plugin folder. I'm also comfortable with that. So um, I can now proceed. And um, it's a really straightforward um, process really. So when you're done with the installation, you're gonna be presented with some links. Uh, keep in mind that you need to unlock FL Studio 20.1.2 after you make the updates. So here you have some uh, help links. Um, how do you unlock the software? And I have a video on that on my channel, so make sure you guys just uh, check it out. And uh, then you're also presented with uh, an ad for FL Studio Mobile, the application for iOS, Android, and I believe Windows. Then when you're done, click on Finish. Um, and uh, before we proceed to the main meat of this video, I just wanted to show you guys these headphones, Audio Technica ATH M50X. Uh, they're currently the highest rated headphones on Amazon. Really cool for EDM, dubstep, and trap music. Great clarity. They are super comfortable. And I've put links in the description of this video for you guys to check it out. And if there is um, if there is any promo, then you guys can take advantage of that. So anyway, back to um, this video. Um, I'm going to open my FL Studio 20 now. I'm going to go quickly through the unlocking process. I don't want to take too much time for that. Um, I already have a video on that, like I said, so you guys can check it out. I'll try and link it down in this video. So now what I'm going to do is check out the feature I want you guys to um, know about. Um, this really doesn't take long, so it's retrieving my uh, red key. I'm going to skip this step. Yep, and then now I can click on the kick instrument and uh, I need to link it in my um, master right here. Then I'm gonna select more plugins. As an example, I'm going to select Fruity Compressor. Um, and now I'm gonna simulate uh, just as if I wanted to delete it. So I'm going to click on this drop down arrow right here and then I'm gonna click delete. That's a new option right there. And then I have this pop-up that says the selected plugin is about to be deleted, no undo. I can cancel and in this case, I will maintain my plugin or I can uh, simply repeat the process and click on OK. And in that case, it's going to delete it for me. But having this double confirmation step is really helpful. Now, let's check uh, how it was in FL Studio 12 or FL Studio 20, the previous version. And I'm going to repeat these steps. I'm going to click on Kick. I'm going to select a plugin, uh, Fruity Limiter. And then now I'm going to drop down. There is no delete option, so you have to do replace none. Uh, not very helpful there. It's quickly gone. So this means um, if you selected that, then you saved, uh, you weren't aware, and then uh, you close it. That's it. Your your changes are gone. If ever you have any issues with your backup or auto save features, then that's it. You just lose your changes. So having a double confirmation uh, step is really really helpful. And thumbs up for uh, thumbs up to Image Line for adding that feature. Anyway, that's it uh, for this video, guys. I just want to. Um, share this with you just in case you're not aware uh, make sure you update your plugin but more importantly make sure you guys just subscribe to this channel if you like this video give it a big thumbs up uh comments if you have any questions make sure you share it let me know what tutorial you want to see next if you want to support this channel please make sure you check out the links in my description to the headphones and uh, until then i'll um, take care of yourself i'll see you next time bye